in the eerie shadows of a moonless night. A chilling silence blankens the earth. As you tune in to this spine-tingling audio series, you are transported into a realm where the boundaries between spirits and monsters blur, unleashing untold horrors upon the unexpecting world. The whispers of vengeful spirits intertwine with the gnarling growls of monstrous creatures. Their ghastly alliance awakened a primordial evil that hungers for human souls. With each haunting episode, you will be drawn deeper into the heart of this malevolent darkness. Where despite mortals struggle to survive while the line between friend and foe vanishes. Brace yourself, dear listener, for within these episodes, you will experience firsthand the dread and terror that arises when spirits and monsters join forces in a dance of pure, unadulterated horror. The matter, Masky. Well, if you must know, Hoodie, we've been waiting here for about 40 minutes just because Jeff told us to wait here for some crazy jackass sorcerer to come talk to us. That's why I'm a little irritated right now. Well, you should control your anger right now because that's the sorcerer that's going to give us powers. Like Like Jeff. Jeff. Remember? Well, it doesn't give him the excuse to be late. After all, isn't he supposed to help us get, like, some magical powers or some shit? Yeah, that's why we're waiting. And that's why Jeff told us to wait. Gentlemen! I'm sorry for my... lateness. It took you long enough. Masky. What? Yes, I understand that you are both quite angry at me, but I can guarantee you that my lateness isn't well due time. That didn't even make any sense. Uh, Anyway, so, I was told, right, by Jeff, the pale white guy that you met, like, a few months ago, Yes, I do remember Jeff, and I did give him some powers, if I do remember correctly. Ah, oh, so he wasn't lying about that. I told you, so let's just get this over with then. Well, it's not going to be as easy as you think it's going to be. You see, within my powers of Jujutsu Sorcery, I have a... What you can say, special technique. What's so special about it? Yeah, what are you talking about by special? Well, you see, the way that my powers work is that I have to ensnare a soul, specifically a cursed spirit. And I do that by capturing it in a sphere-like thing. Uh Uh-huh. So, what, you just carry them around like baseballs in your back pocket or something? (laughs) I wish it were that simple. No. You see, after I capture these cursed spirits, and the way I have to use them or be able to, 
I have to consume them. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Are you... Are you about to tell us that we're gonna have to swallow a spirit? In the contrary. Yep, I'm out. Rusty. No, no, Hoodie, I'm not gonna swallow a whole fucking spirit here. You realize how fucking idiotic this guy sounds right now? He's the guy that gave Jeff his powers. Remember? Yeah, but I didn't think we had to swallow like a baseball-sized sphere. I'm gonna choke to death if I try to do that. <sighs> Alright, look. Is there a different way that we can make these spirits go to our bodies? Hmm. Well, there are other ways that you can get powers. How so? Although it will take quite a little bit more time than usual if you would just consume the spirits like I have. But we would have to run into one of your bosses, per se. We only have one boss, and his name is Slenderman. And I doubt that he will give us any type of power, because he already has given us powers. Oh. So you two are already gifted. Yeah, uh, Slender Man basically gave me powers of strength and speed, but took it away my human looks and whatnot. Hoodie purposely held the information about his other powers via the tentacles he can grow from his back. Ah, I see. And what does your loudmouth friend have? La- <clears throat> Well, if you must know... I have this mask that Slenderman made me, and once I put it on, I get increased strength and, well, speed. So, what you're saying is that, um, you're nothing without that mask. <sighs> no. Actually, I'm not nothing without the mask. I have plenty of strength by myself without this mask. And plus, if I wanted to get rid of the mask, I can't. Because it always ends up back in my hand. Oh, so it's like a cursed tool of some sort. I guess so, whatever floats your fucking boat. Nonetheless, so, how can we get powers from you? Yes, sorry. I was a little sidetracked. The other ways to have you get more power is to have a cursed spirit be one with you. As in, a cursed spirit has to come inside of you. So, we have to have a spirit go into our bodies. Well, like I said, it will take a little bit longer than just consuming the spirits like me. Although I will need some help from another sorcerer or powerful being. Hence, our boss. Precisely. I see you are the one with the brains in this whole friendship that you have. You have no idea. I'm right here. Shut up, Masky. <sighs> so, anyway, please continue. Well, first, let me just say this. I am Suguru Geto. I am a Jujutsu Sorcerer. And I am the one that is going to be training both of you to control your powers and teach you the ways of jujitsu. And if you do not agree with the things that I am teaching you, or the ways that I will be teaching you, I'll kill you both.
Do I make myself clear? Um, yeah. Yeah, whatever. So what, are we supposed to bring you back to Slenderman now? So we can get this whole ritual thing or whatever the fuck you're gonna do? Well, yes, I would like that very much. But alright, let's go. No, hold on. What? Before we get going, I just would like to know a few things about you two. That's all. So, were you both always together? Yeah, kind of. Although, me and Hoodie here were usually always together, but there's always a, there's been a, a third one. A third one. And who would this third one might be? His name is Toby, but we call him Tiki Toby, the kid has Tourette's. Kind of funny in a way. Ah, I see. So your little group is called the Proxies. I... Yeah, I don't know how you figured that out, but yes, that's our name. Mm, I see, I see. Well, if we can find your third friend, then maybe we can give him some powers as well. I doubt it. Come again? You see, um, Toby, he kind of uh, went AWOL on us. We don't know where the hell he is. And we still think he's still in the city, but I, we just we don't really know where he is. We've been looking for a few months now. We haven't found any traces of him. It's been difficult. So he's not really your friend anymore, now is he? No. Uh, no, I, I guess not. We weren't really friends in the begin with. I hated that brat. Yeah, so did I. Well then, if he's not an ally, then he's your enemy. So, why don't we skip all this dialogue, and we can go straight to your boss to get the powers that are needed for both of you. And before we do... What is exactly that you need from us for all of this? <laughs> well, my dark silhouetted friend, it's very simple why I need both of you for this. You see, a long time ago, this world was run by sorcerers like myself. And it was a golden age of jujitsu. We call it the Heian Era. Only the strongest of sorcerers survived back then. And I am planning on making this world better between all sorts of sorcerers and cursed spirits alike. And you want to bring that era back into the present, is what I'm hearing. Yes, precisely. Well, don't you think you're going to need the sorcerers from that era? Otherwise, your plan's going to fail. I do not think our plan would fail. After all, I am building up an army. An army? An army of who? Me, Hoodie, Jeff? Who else do you have in plan? <laughs> oh, do not worry, you're a little head about it. <sighs> Now, come along. Wait, we're the ones showing you where he is. You follow us. Right. My mistake. I forgot about being led around by a bunch of monkeys. Did he just call us a monkey? Anyway, follow us. 